I'm just gonna. Okay, so I just ordered the detox. Um, lately, I've just been eating like crap. Like literally last night for dinner, for dinner, I ate some hot Cheetos and ice cream and I woke up feeling terrible. If you see this little rash, this, I'm experiencing a breakout from wearing these masks, so don't pay attention to that. But anyway, and then this morning I ate a chocolate muffin for breakfast and some oatmeal, which I tried to like make it better with the oatmeal. But then for lunch, I ate a chicken quesadilla and some french fries. Like I have just been eating like crap. I've been feeling it, my body feels it. The only thing that is my saving grace is that I drink a lot of water. That's really the only thing I drink is water and coffee. My stomach is normally, like when I wake up in the morning, just flat. I'm not sticking it out or anything. I'm just standing here. And obviously I'm like really bloated. This was a mosquito bite. But yeah, that's not cute. I'm not necessarily detoxing for weight loss, although I know that is like a side effect that happens. I'm more so detoxing for like the health of my body. And so the plan is once I finish this, I'm gonna continue to eat right, make healthier choices, and just do better because I've just been feeling like bad overall. So I just ordered the detox on Amazon. It will be here on Friday. I'm gonna start and I'm going to vlog the process day by day. All right, so today is Monday. I just got, excuse my parents, I just came from work and like, as soon as I come in the door, I take that wig off. But this is the cleaner. I got the women's version. Um, this is just a single uh, cleanse. It's the seven day. I know that there is one that's a 14 day. Please people, if you are looking at this video, the 14 day bottle does not mean that's one dose. That's just two doses in one bottle. So I just got the one the single treatment bottle or whatever lately i don't know if it's my diet i don't know i need to change something but tmi my bowel movements have not been regular at all i have been drinking like lots and lots of water like a ton of water but i decided i'll go ahead and start this um today is monday and so it says on the bottle to take four capsules on the evening of day one so this would be day one and then on days two through seven, take four capsules in the morning and four in the evening. Now, I was a little bit scared to go ahead and start because I do work Monday through Friday. But I'm like, I just need, like, you know when you just feel your body telling you that you need to do something? Like, my body is telling me I need to just go ahead and get this over with. And apparently on the bottle it says that it's... Fast and powerful, yet gentle enough to allow you to travel, work, and continue your normal routine. Now, based off of the reviews I've seen, I don't know. We're just going to see how this works. I have my four capsules. They look like this. So, you can basically, like, some people split it open and, like, pour the powder into a liquid. I'm just going to... Take it like a G. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Are we about to see what's going to happen? So in the morning, I'll take four more tomorrow night. I'm kind of nervous because a lot of people were saying like the first day, nothing really happened. But then like the second day, that's when they started to see some things. And I have class tomorrow. And it's an in-person class, it's not online, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm excited to see how this works, um, and I will definitely be giving you guys updates. What's up guys, I look rough, I just woke up and I'm getting ready for work. <clears throat> oh, sound like a man. I just wanted to give you a little update, it's day two of the cleaner, and all last week, I think I pooped maybe like 
two and a half times. Like I was really constipated. And so like yesterday, even I tried to poop. This is gonna be really TMI, but yesterday I tried to poop and it was only a little bit and it was like the consistency was like pellets, which kind of like indicates that I'm like dehydrated or something. But to dehydrated is not it because I drink tons of water. Lots and lots of water, like a ton of water. I'm just guessing um, I don't get enough fiber, which is what prompted me to do this whole cleaner in the first place. <clears throat> but anyways, I did the four pills last night when I woke up this morning. I was like a little bit worried because I didn't really feel, you know how like, I don't know, you just feel like you should be able to go. But as soon as I got up, I was like, okay, yeah, I need to go. So I had that, like, you know that feeling like that you need to poop. I don't know how to explain it. But um, I'm so lazy, y'all. You see, I, I still have it in the bun from yesterday. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I was able to go this morning and it was like easy. Didn't have to push or anything like that. And um, if y'all want to know, I mean, this is going to be an in-depth review of the <laughs> the consistency was like like soft serve <laughs> like it like I barely had to push at all it, it just came out so easily um so I haven't taken the next four yet I want to wait until I get to work because you know I don't want to have any accidents while I'm driving or anything like that just in case but um it already seems like it's working just off of that first Dose, so. What's up guys, I'm home from what the cleanse considers the second day of the cleanse. And I just wanted to give you an update. So um, it really wasn't as bad as I thought so far. I mean, this is only the second day, but um, I thought I was gonna have to like park my workstation next to the bathroom. Like I thought it was really gonna be like bad. But I think earlier I said it was kind of like soft serve consistency, but it really was like way more loose than that now that I think about it. Um, but I took the second round of pills or like the morning round of the four pills around 7.30 a.m. And I think um, I didn't end up going to the restroom or until around like 10 or 11. Um, but I will say... Once you start getting that rumble in your tummy, there's not really a long time period from when it starts to when you need to go to the bathroom. So, um, yeah, you can't really just kind of like sit around and let it marinate. <laughs> but also, when you do go to the bathroom, you're not sitting there for a long time. It's just basically like you do it, you're done, and that's it. Today in total, including the time that I went to the bathroom, this morning I pooped four times. That's a lot considering that I probably didn't even poop four times in total the whole of last week. So it's working, things are moving, things are getting, you know, cleaned out. And I'm trying to also watch what I eat. Um, this morning I had pineapples and grapes, grits, which I mean, you know. Um, and like a sausage biscuit, which I know that's not good either. And then for dinner, I had a buffalo chicken wrap um, and like some like homemade um, chips with no salt, but I did eat them with ketchup. And then tonight I'm about to eat some turkey meatloaf, green beans and rice. And I also made some lentils last night. So I'm trying to end it off on a healthy note because I didn't really make two good choices throughout the day but um yeah it seems to really be working i'm also gonna go ahead and pop my four the next four uh, right before i eat <sighs> so we'll see how tomorrow goes okay it's the morning of day three i was fully expecting to have to wake up and have to go like yesterday but that didn't happen so mm. But I do have a slight headache. Yesterday, I drank about 
Mm, I didn't fully reach 64 ounces of water. I think I drank like 50. Um, so I didn't drink as much water as I wanted to or as I might have normally drank. So maybe that's why I have a headache. I'm not sure. But we'll see what happens throughout the rest of the day. Alright, so it's day three. I'm back home from work. <sighs> Today, just brace yourself. So, I woke up this morning. I had like a slight headache. I'm kind of assuming that's from the detox because I read that that was like a symptom of it. Um, let me see. I wrote down all my symptoms or all the things that happened today so that I wouldn't forget. So I woke up with a slight headache. I was a little bit more tired than usual, but at the same time, I am anemic and I did just start my period this week, so that could also be why. Um, then I did have a lot more cramping today than usual. I mean, than, than yesterday. So yesterday it was kind of just like once I cramped, I would just go to the bathroom and then the cramping would stop. Today it was more like I would cramp, I would go to the bathroom, and then like five minutes later I would still be cramping. So it was a little bit more continuous throughout the day. And then I went to the bathroom about like to in total, like with P and with number two, like 10 times. Half of that was just only P, half of that was with number two. As far as like what I was eating, I did, I did good today, okay? I had for breakfast a yogurt parfait with some blueberries and strawberries and some granola. And then I had three boiled eggs with just like some salt and pepper and olive oil and Mrs. Dash. And then for lunch, I had some um, turkey patties with rice and green beans. And I messed up, not messed up, but my coworker bought us some Tiff's treats. So I did have two cookies, but we just not gonna talk about that. But I drank heck of water. Like I drank a lot of water, a ton of water. I drank two of these, which I think these are 33 ounces and so way past my daily intake because I'm gonna drink even more tonight but to the nitty gritty like nasty part of today for one I pooped so many times like I just I just got tired of wiping like I feel like it started getting raw back there like just wiping all day then so since yesterday i started kind of like investigating my poop just to see like what was coming out you know and today it was a lot of strange sights there was definitely a lot of lentils from the big bowl of lentils i had last night there was one point where my stomach was just cramping so bad like it just was cramping so bad so i was like okay let me go to the bathroom and I looked at what was in the toilet and it was literally like I just pooped a big ball of mucus. Like there was stool in there too, but in the stool was like literally like a ball of mucus, like probably like this big. And then there was like some stringy material. Now, listen, I don't know what parasites look like. I'm not going to say it was parasites. I'm not going to say it's not because I don't know, but I just know that it was some stringy material mixed into the stuff. Now, I guess that's a good thing because that means the the uh, detox is working because from my understanding, you're not supposed to have excessive amounts of mucus in your body because that's what sickness holds on to and that's how you keep sickness in your body. That's the update for today. I'm kind of starting to see that a couple hours or so after I eat is when I start having the most like stool activity, which kind of makes sense. If anything changes tomorrow, I'll go ahead and make a vlog about it. If not, I don't see the use in, you know, making another vlog for the day. But, you know, I'll keep going until the seven days are done. I'm going to go ahead and take my next four pills. Actually. 
Oops. Mm -mm -mm. I just take it like a G. Oops. I just do all four at once. Okay, real quick because I have a lot of homework that I need to do. I'm back home. It's um, after my work day of day three. And today was actually the easiest day. Um, this morning when I woke up, I did have to go. And then about um, an hour later, like after I made it to work, I had to go again. Um, but other than that, I didn't do number two any other time throughout the day yet probably will later but I also will note that today um, the other days I was taking my um, first like round of pills at 7 30 a.m. today I took it around 9 30 a.m. and I also ate at the same time that I took the pill so I don't know if that might have affected something um, and I also will note that there was a strange discovery in my stool this morning. So after yesterday, when I found that like basically big ball of mucus and there was like strings of mucus and stuff, I was like, okay, I'm really gonna start investigating. So I got a popsicle stick, I have a bag of popsicle sticks, just like a little wooden stick. And after I pooped, okay, I know this is nasty, but I was just like, you know, poking around, looking at it and seeing, you know, what was going on in there for the most part it was okay um it was a little bit loose because I had like a huge bowl of lentils the night before but I found I don't know what it was but it was literally a big glob of like brown squishy stuff like it looked disgusting. I don't even know how to explain it and I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's like a parasite or I don't know. But it literally was like a glob like this big. It wasn't in a uniform shape. It was like all squishy or whatever but it was dark brown and it was like squishy. It wasn't the consistency of stool. It didn't look like poop. It was it looked like not intestines, but like it reminds me of kind of like that shiny sliminess. So that was pretty disgusting. Not sure what that was. I also feel like maybe because I'm making better food choices as far as what I'm eating, maybe that's why the stool frequency kind of slowed down because maybe in like the first couple days it was just really trying to get rid of everything I had in there but now since I'm not really eating too bad you know it's more regular you know because I think they say it's normal to to go like two to three times a day I think that's what they recommend you go is like two to three times a day so I'm expecting I'll probably go later tonight but it's a little more regular now We'll see what tomorrow brings. I just wanted to do a quick update. I gotta go do some homework, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, today is day four of the cleanse, and I kind of messed up. So I have my detox pills in my backpack, and normally I take my backpack with me to work. Well, today I just really wasn't trying to like carry all that extra, so I didn't take my backpack, didn't even think about it detox pills were here and so I did not take them this morning um, it's about two o'clock right now and I just took them so I think today that will be my only dose which it kind of works out anyway because I do work overnight tonight so I don't know I just feel like it that just works out better also the bottle says that if your stools become like a little more watery or loose you can go ahead and like cut back on the dosage a little bit and I feel like I was headed down toward that path so I think it's still okay um I did go number two twice today once when I woke up and then about um pretty much the same as yesterday once when I woke up and then about an hour or so later after I got to work so um other than that there wasn't really anything major I think I did have like a little bit of gas. I don't know, but really nothing major. I ate a salad for um, my lunch. I didn't even eat breakfast. I kind of forgot. Um, I don't think I told y'all what I ate yesterday. Yesterday I ate, um, 
I don't know, I can't remember, but that's just a quick update for day five. I'll go ahead and update you guys tomorrow and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so today is technically the last day of the detox. It's Monday and I started the detox on Monday evening. And so I just wanted to do a little update and tell you guys where my progress is at. So the last few days, the last like two or three days of the detox, I didn't really vlog only because I felt like it was pointless. Nothing was really happening. My stool wasn't really looking any like different. Um, I think most of like the interesting activity was happening towards the first three days when all when I saw all that stuff coming out and then like towards the end it's just it was just my body being more regular as far as like going which is good because that means any waste that I was putting in was coming out regularly and not just like staying in my body which I really did enjoy um I think after this I'm gonna start eating more foods with fiber and taking more fiber and everything because I feel like I was really backed up and I think I'm also going to see a GI doctor because I don't know. I feel like my digestive system is not really working like it should. But I definitely would do this again. I probably will do it again in like six months. Um, a lot of people do it like a couple times a year or like a few times a year. So I think that would be good just to keep, you know, my body regulated and make sure I'm not just keeping waste. Um... As far as like what my stomach looks like, because you know, at the beginning it was like real bloated. It might not have looked real bloated to y'all, but I just know my own self and what I what my baseline is, and that was just not it. So in the morning, because I've I've eaten, I just ate like my stomach is so full right now. So in the morning, I'll try to do a little update clip to show you guys, but. In general, I did feel a lot lighter. Um, I did feel like it helped. Like I said, I would do it again. So I think if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And I'll add in a clip of my progress. And yeah, just make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I will be putting out more videos for you guys every week.